Last year, our own Don Quackenbush put together a rather sophisticated Christmas light display at his 69 Kamal Drive location. And we featured that display here on Zero In. Well, a lot of folks stopped by for a look and also left behind donations totaling almost $4,000 that went to cancer research. Well, Don and his elves were busy again this year assembling an even larger display at Don's house using mostly energy efficient LED lights and hundreds and hundreds of feet of electrical wiring. The good weather in November allowed the volunteers to make a lot of headway with the rather complex assembly and installation. I stopped by Don's place once things were ready to roll, to talk with him, and to videotape a demonstration of the display in action. We close Zero In with this segment and wish you all a happy and safe Christmas season. Here's Don. Uh, Mike, last year we raised uh, close to $3,700 for heart and stroke and Canadian cancer. It was, it was a pretty successful year. I was really happy with the turnout. Uh, the neighbours, surprisingly, were really good about the traffic and about the, uh, the blinking lights for a solid month. All in all, uh, I'd say it was successful. Okay, so these are the two new controllers I bought this year. Um, with the introduction of Imperial Oil's new uh, LED signs, kind of gave me an idea to uh, structure something that would be uh, similar in entertainment, if you will. And uh, hence what I call the, the wall of light. And it's, um, it's put together with 3,700 LEDs that are pushed through chicken wire mesh, PVC framing, and a lot of zip ties. Last year, if you remember, these are the arches. Uh, the arches are simply put together with some um, electrical conduit, some fittings. There's a piece of uh, bar inside there in case something breaks or separates, it won't fall apart on me. And on each one, in each arch has 16 strands of lights and um, eight strands of, uh, of extension cord. Okay, the mega tree, as I call it, um, it is run by one more controller, eight channels. And this was built by Shell and Machina Marine here in Sarnia as part of their contributions to the display. It's about 17 and a half feet tall. It's got a star at the top and um, it was a lot of work to put together and stand up in uh, the weather we've had recently. Um, each controller has uh, two power inlets and 16 power outlets and uh, it's controlled with a, uh, a single um, RS-45 connection like I'd mentioned last year but the controller has the, each controller has the ability to turn on or off each cord. So each 16, each of the 16 cords are capable to, I can tell it to turn on, off, dim up, dim down, do anything I need to do in order to get it to give the display that we're giving.